Unit 3, Part 5, I can write a linear equation or inequality. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out what these words mean in math. So um, we have a plus symbol, which we know means add, our minus sign, subtract, times, multiply, division, divide by, equal is equal to, and then we have our inequality symbols. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to pause the video and take some time to look at these words at the bottom. And I want you to write them in their correct column. So for example, we look at the word sum. I know that the word sum means we're working with an addition problem. So I would put sum there. If you're doing the online version, you can copy and paste the typed word. If you're writing on paper, you can just write it in the blank and then just cross the word off when, you, when you've used it. So go ahead and take some time, think about it, add the words to where you think they belong, and then play the video to resume. All right, so here is the chart fully filled out, and I just wanted to talk about a couple of them in particular. Um, more than might have been tricky. You might have put that in the inequality greater than. Um, without the word is in front of it, it does mean the addition operation. So if it said is more than, then it would be over here in the greater than. So if we said is more than, that would be greater than. Same thing for less than. Less than, if it said is less than, like you see right there. Um, then it does mean that lesson symbol. Um, another one, double and half. So double means times two, half means divided by two. Another word you might see for like means double would be twice. You can also see like the word triple, which would be times three. Um, so there are those words that do mean multiplying or dividing by a specific number. And then anything that's going to be one of those um, equation or inequality words is always going to start with is. You can see all of these is. The difference is this at most or at least. And at most and at least can be a little confusing because they are kind of like the opposite. So at most goes with less than or equal to and at least goes with greater than or equal to. So that's a really important one to keep straight in your brain. All right, so now using those words, we're going to write an inequation or inequality. So we have 3 less than x is equal to 13. So if you notice, I boxed those keywords that we worked with. Um, so 3 less than x. Now less than is an interesting word. So if we go back to our chart, um, you can see right here, less than, this word in parentheses says flips the order. So when we are looking at this, 3 less than x, we're not going to write it in the order that it's given, 3 subtract x. That's not what it means. Um, 3 less than x is really x minus 3. So let's make sense of that, why that, that would make sense. Because if I said 3 less than 17, 3 less than 17 means I'm going to take 17 and I'm going to go 3 smaller than that number. So 3 less than 17 is 14. If I had 3 less dollars than 17, I'd have $14, which means I was doing 17 minus 3, which gave me 14. So really pay attention to that less than, it does flip the order. So 3 less than x really means x minus 3. Then we have is equal to, so that's an equal sign, and then 13. So that would be the equation. The next one, we have the product, product is a key word for multiply, of 9 and x is 45. So product of 9 and x, to do that with a variable, you just do 9x. You don't need any symbol because that means multiply. Is is equal sign and then 45. Next one, a number divided by 6 is 18. So a number 
is another way of saying a variable. We, we don't know what number it is, so we can use x. So x divided by 6 is, means equals 18. Now, another way to write division, and a more popular way you'll see division written than using this division sign that we saw in like elementary school, is to use a fraction. So you will more likely see this as x divided by 6 is equal to 18. So that's something to make note of and be aware of as we work in high school math. Division is often going to be written as a fraction, not using that division sign. All right, three more examples here. A number, or a variable, plus 17 is negative 25. So a number, x, plus 17 is, equal sign, negative 25. Just like that. That's all we have to do. So I'd like you to try 5 and 6 on your own. Pause the video. And then you can resume the video to see if you got the answer correct. All right, so these last two, the sum of 11 and x, so 11 plus x is less than, it's got that is with it, so we're going to use that less than symbol or inequality symbol, and then negative 23. All right, last one, 2 less than x. So now again, that's that flip-flop word for subtracting, so it's x minus 2. And then is greater than, so greater than symbol, 21. So that's all for your notes. The rest of this is your practice. So go ahead and practice your problems and then complete your check-in on Schoology.